Did you know this about Adam and Eve? After Adam and Eve disobeyed God, God was concerned that they might, man might try to eat the fruit of the tree of life and live forever. This is in Genesis 3.22. Once they were banished from Eden, they lost their access to the tree. But in the book of Revelation, at the end of the Bible, the tree of life exists in heaven, the new Jerusalem, where it bears fruit in all seasons. See Revelation chapter 22 verse 2. It is a real blessing. Now with regard to cultural insights of work as represented in the Bible and the book of Genesis, we might say is work, quote unquote, a four letter word. It may seem that way in our own culture where fewer and fewer people engage in farming and manufacturing jobs. People today desire more leisure time and office jobs are considered more desirable than manual labor. The Hebrews had an entirely different view. From the very beginning, man had work to do. Quote, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Close quote. This is in Genesis 2.15. The Old Testament assumes that work, which for most people meant working with one's hands, is a normal and natural part of human life. Saul, Israel's first king, plows, plows in the fields, and the Bible gives no hint that this was beneath a king's dignity. Paul the great apostle who could have lived off the contributions of the churches he administered to plied his trade as a tent maker. Jesus was a carpenter and the first Christians felt no shame that the man they believed was the son of God worked with his hands for a living. The Old Testament prophets had harsh words for the idle and immoral rich. They must have realized that work not only enables people to make a living, but also keeps them out of mischief for much of the day. However, the fall of Adam and Eve into sin changed the nature of work. As part of his punishments for disobeying God, Adam's work became difficult and tedious, done by the sweat of his brow. See Genesis chapter 3 verse 19. It was God's original intention for human beings to work, but the sweaty labor that most people have endured over the centuries is the result of Adam's disobedience.